Hey, we're at the Schoenberg Automaton in the middle of Australia, the heart of the route. enough to have the opportunity to play in Alice Springs the other night, so we've now played every state and territory in Australia and we thought uh, while we're here we'd take the opportunity to talk a bit about our next album. So the album is going to be called uh, Apis, um, continuing on from Vela. It's pretty intense, pretty complex, very fast. It still slams, there's still uh, chunky parts, you know, it's still fast, but um, we've also been able to wind it back quite a bit too. I'm really focused on the riffing to get some really cool um, hooks in there and some stuff that people can latch onto. Some of the ideas around it are a lot, uh, a lot more darker than Vela. I think the existing fans will still get a lot out of it. We haven't changed too much, it's more building on what was already there. Coming into the band only a few months before recording Vela was a, a daunting task. This uh, new album I've had a lot more time to, to contemplate and think of concepts and ideas. This time hasn't been that much of a rush and I feel that the songs will benefit from that. I've been able to collaborate more and um, share ideas so it's been a bit more of a, a cohesive effort with everyone in the band. Um, so yeah, I mean that's kind of changed the sound a little bit. It's still very Schoenberg, it's still you know, it's a more similar sound but um, you know, there's some kind of some tweaks that I think people might find interesting. It's taken a lot, like a fair while, but it's become, it feels a lot more natural and it's just coming together really quite nicely. Um, it seems like we're able to accomplish a lot of things that we really wanted to with the sound. I think production-wise, we've um, decided to go all out. Um, we have uh, Shane Frisbee, who's not typically one of the band that I, like, I type of band that he's uh, he's done before. I don't think. I think that's why he's quite excited too. Do something a little bit different, um, a bit more on the extreme side of things. And um, it was an awesome opportunity that just popped up that we couldn't say no. We just couldn't say no to. We've gotten Ty Donitz on board again. He did the album artwork for Bale. I think this time he's drawing more on lyrical concepts and not just the band vibe and whole. Um, we've taken heaps of ideas and themes from Jake's lyrics and he's put together something. He sent us through our first draft and we're all pretty happy with it. And, Really what we wanted to do is I think we're at the level where, you know, releasing a so for my album, um, we need it to, to really blow people's heads off. We can't do a half-assed um, thing, so we needed to go all out for the production and everything like that, so, and the cover art, and, and um, you know, we need some support to do that in an independent band. We want to give as much back to our fans as possible, and this is sort of an opportunity that works for both fans and us. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here at all, so yeah, I think it's an opportunity for you guys to get behind us and work as together as a team, the fans to help push us to new places and new heights.